The best of the best in volleyball will set Spike and bump their way to victory at the Norseka Beach Volleyball Tournament. Here with all of the details this morning, we have Noelle Williams, who's the Cayman Islands Volleyball Federation President, and Fareed Hussein, Cayman Islands Volleyball Federation International Tournament Director. Good morning, gentlemen. Hey, good morning. I have to ask, before we start talking Norseka, there was a new board of directors elected, and then, and that was announced, and then suddenly that changed, and the old board was reinstated. Is there any information available yet on what happened with that? Hi, good morning, Vanessa. You know what? Um, we have a very important tournament to run here in the Cayman Islands. And for the Cayman Islands Volleyball Federation, the Cayman Islands come first. And we have over 17 countries that are, are here now. So we're going to concentrate on that to try to pull this off and make it very successful. So we'll have time to discuss all of that. After this. After this. After the big event. This is the sixth annual Norseka Volleyball Tournament. And it was it was big for the Cayman Islands to get that, you know, be, be the first one on the tournament, right? Yeah. And, and you know what? I mean, it just shows you the, the caliber of the tournaments and stuff that we've been hosting over the last few years. And us being the number one tournament in the region for, for a while now, um, back about three months ago, I went to the Beach Commission meeting and normally the Cayman Islands would host in March. So I met with the hotels here um, last year and asked them what would be the best time for us to host. I mean, right. knowing that it's all about sports tourism and we want to, to meet with these people that we can best have a good so partnership. kind of fill the gaps, exactly. right? Okay. So um, Narseka actually gave it to us, I mean, I bid for in April. Mm -hmm. And even though we bid for April and the tournament supposed to start in March, the tour, Cayman Islands were still given the first opportunity to be the first person to host. So that speaks volumes of the kind of tournaments and the kind of leadership that we have here in the Cayman Islands with the North Seca Beach Volleyball. Fareed, let's talk about the teams. We, we've got some great teams once again coming to the Cayman Islands. Yes, we do. We have 17 countries represented. Uh, it's, it's great because all the Canadian teams came down very early. They were having such a good time here. Um, none of them have actually been to the island before, but they've heard so many ah, things from their previous right. counterparts that uh, they came down early. And, you know, again, they, they reiterate the comment that uh, this is by far the best tournament on the North Sea Tour stop, and they're very happy to be here. And uh, the Cayman Islands teams as well, they're training very hard, and we're expecting big things from them. We're, we're hoping to see if we can pull out a medal this year. So we'd like to, to get that support from the, from the local crowd and hopefully everything goes good for them this year. Who's playing for Cayman? Cayman has four, four teams playing, two men, two women. Shervin and, and Richard are playing on one team. OT and Philippe are playing on the other team. Eliane and Chante are playing uh, as a junior team for us and we're, they're gonna get some exposure at a much higher level this time around. This will be their first tournament at this level. And uh, Kristen and Alexander will be, uh, Kristen and Jessica, sorry. Uh, will be our next team playing. All right, we also have Olympic gold medalist, former uh, former world champion coming as well. Yes, Todd Rogers is here again. He's a, of course, he's a gold medalist. He's a very, very famous name on the beach volleyball tour. And we're very excited to have him again this year. And that again shows that the level of volleyball in the Cayman Islands is, has gone up volume since our first tour stop here in 2009. It feels, it probably doesn't feel this way to you, but I think to some sports fans, you know, volleyball kind of came on the, got big quickly and sort of quietly. You know, it went from, we knew things were happening with the Volleyball Federation, but as soon as those, these Norseka tours started hitting, things, things happened quick. Yeah, and, and that's why I thought it was very important. Um, six years ago, when I met with my committee and asked them, what did they think about bringing volleyball here at the international level? And I had their support and I went to, to fight for it. And now, six years later, look at what we have. I mean, because we, we, we have the beaches, we have the most friendly people in the world. So, I mean, it's a win-win situation for us here. Just to tell you a little bit, I mean, about Todd Rogers, I mean, he's a cool gold medal winner uh, for the USA. USA yeah. Now, they have their best teams going to China at this particular time and he chooses to come to the Cayman Islands to play here. That speaks volumes. That I does. mean, I think that was amazing for him to choose the Cayman Islands to be here, to come and play in our tournament rather than going to China. We recently also had uh, some other international teams here that were doing some training and some clinics with some of our young players. Uh, how, how are the youth responding to volleyball, particularly beach, vo beach volleyball now? Very well. Um, we had a, the Mexican national team that was here a few weeks ago. Uh, they came to train with their juniors and their senior team. 
And from that result, they, the junior uh, went to Puerto Rico where they participated in the youth Olympic qualifiers. And out of 12 countries, they came fifth. And they beat teams like Mexico right. and those big, big countries. So it was amazing how well those little girls um, done at those games. So we're, we're coming along and we're very proud of our juniors. Our juniors is actually going to be our focus because they are, are, are very strong and they're only 16 years old. So we, we see future Olympians and stuff in them. All right. It is very exciting. We're out of time, but let's tell people starting Friday, get down to the beach. Friday, 9 o'clock. We're going to have night games on Friday and we start Saturday at 9 o'clock, Sunday at 10 o'clock probably. And the finals will be Sunday afternoon. Free admission to the public. Thanks again to all of our sponsors right. to make that happen. And we hope to see everybody out there. All right. It's all at Puppet Beach next to Calico Jacks. It's always a great atmosphere. There is covered seating there. You know, you can have take the family down, have a great time at the beach and watch some amazing volleyball. It's a beautiful venue. All right. Thanks so much for joining us this morning. Thank you.